Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about the problem of bearing. So you, you can see a problem of hydrodynamic bearing. So the following data is given for a 360 degree hydrodynamic bearing. Radial load is given 3.2 kN, journal speed, journal diameter, bearing length, radial clearance and the viscosity of lubricant is given in centipoise. So assuming that the total heat generated in the bearing is carried by the total oil flow in the bearing, we have to calculate this value that is the coefficient of friction, power lost in friction, minimum oil flame thickness, flow requirement in 1 liter per minute and temperature rise. So here we have this given that the load is 3200 Newton, the speed is in RPM, diameter, length, clearance is given by C and this Z value. So here we go the first step. Step 1. So this is to determine the pressure. So pressure is weight that is load divided by area what is given by length into diameter. So we have 3200 divided by 50 into 50 and we will have this below 128 Newton per mm square. So our first question asks to determine the coefficient of friction. So we have this formula for determine the coefficient of friction is that F is equal to 2 pi square z n by p into r by c so we will get this formula in design data handbook so let us solve z we have 25 centipoise that converted to what will be the unit Newton second per mm square then we have the speed speed is 1490 it is in per minute so to convert this to second we have to divide this by second so now our unit is second now pressure pressure is what we have determined 128 so here we write this mm square by Newton and we will have this R by C ratio R is what 25 mm and C is 0 0.05 also this is unitless so all this unit will cancelled so we'll have unitless number and we will get a value of 0 0.00478 next step 3 so here we have to determine the frictional loss so what is the formula to determine frictional loss you will get in design data handbook that is 2 pi by 10 to the power 6 into 10 to n here is the torque everything you know but you have to calculate the torque so the torque formula is coefficient of friction weight and r so coefficient of friction we have determined 0 0.00478 we have this weight 
uh, it is uh, 3 to 0 0 and radius is given by 25 okay this is unitless it's Newton mm so we'll have this fellow 382 Newton mm okay now let's calculate power loss so put this fellow we will get the answer 0 0.058150 so step 4 we have to determine uh, what we have this question we determine the minimum oil film thickness so to determine this we have to first calculate the sumar feed number so it is given by r by c whole square z n by p okay so r is what 25 mm c is point zero five square z is we have twenty five into ten to the power minus nine the speed n is what one four nine zero and pressure we have one twenty eight so this is unitless we have this unit of z newton second per mm square okay then the speed is 1 by per minute then pressure mm square by newton so we will have this second per minute so let us calculate this so we will have 7.26 in second per minute so to determine the uh, minimum film thickness we have to use this curve that I got from the design of the handbook so here we have got the summer fit number is 7.26 so you can see uh, 7.4 the summer fit number 7.26 value uh, we have this uh, H naught by C that is the minimum field thickness variable the value is approximately 0.8 that is from this curve we got H naught by C is equal to 0.8 so H naught is equal to 0.8 into C C means 0.05 so we'll have this value of H not equal to 0.04 mm. So next question is to determine the flow requirement. So that can be determined from this curve. It's uh, this curves establish the relation between the flow variable and bearing characteristics number that is the summer fit number. So since we have the summer fit number is 7.26 so you can see this value is approximately 3.0 so from this curve we got that it is step 5 q by r c n l is equal to 3 
so here q equal to 3 the fellow r is 25 which is 0 0.05 then 1490 into 50 so its unit will be mm cube per minute isn't it so we'll have this fellow q equal to 279375 mm cube per minute so the question is to determine the flow requirement in one liter per minute so we have to convert this to liter per minute so here is the conversion you can seek 1 mm is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 cubic centimeter and we know that 1 liter is equal to 1000 cc isn't it so 1 cc is equal to 10 to the power 3 into 1000 cc sorry it will be mm we have converted to mm so 10 to the power 6 mm so 1 mm will have 10 to the power minus 6 liter so multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6 we will have this unit liter per minute so q is equal to 0.279375 liter per minute 